Presidents Abbas and Erdogan meeting in Turkey on Tuesday for the first time since Ankara restoring full diplomatic ties with Jerusalem. And contrary to the Palestinians' reaction to every other normalization announcement, Erdogan is claiming that the PA is actually welcoming this move. But this giving further rise to speculations that both Erdogan and Abbas are currently walking a very fine political line. Founder and director of Palestinian Media Watch, Itamar Marcus, joins us with more. Itamar, it's great to have you back. So do the Palestinians actually welcome this deal? Why or why not? Well, first of all, we have to try to understand what the deal is all about. Mm -hmm. And I have a rule that uh, applies to everything that happens in the Middle East and around the world. If there's a country that's been your enemy for, for many years or for a number of years and all of a sudden decides uh, to pretend or to say that they're your friend, try to find out what's really behind it. Uh, if we'll just jump from here to the, uh, to the Abraham Accords for a second, countries that for years wouldn't have relations with Israel, all of a sudden we're all willing to. It had, it had very little to do at the time with real care for Israel, but there was a common enemy, Iran, uh, and that enemy made even becoming allied with Israel um, made, made sense to them. When you have an existent, a mutual existential threat, uh, aligning with Israel is good. So what's happening here with Turkey now is Turkey, uh, I think ideologically, uh, they want to be a leader of the Muslim world. Uh, they want to uh, uh, ex extend themselves as much as they can, the territorial areas where the mm. Kurds are. Uh, that's, that's Turkey. Um, and I think that was the policy toward Israel uh, for, for the last number of years has been a, a true reflection of their, of their right. hate of Israel. Uh, and their non-recognition of Israel. Now, Turkey is in a major financial crisis. Turkey is desperately needs Israeli tourism, which brought tens of thousands of Israelis uh, right. to Turkey uh, every year and brought in a lot of foreign money. Uh, Turkey needs, uh, Turkey is interested in having a, a gas pipeline that will bring them a lot of money. So all of a sudden, because of an economic crisis, Turkey is willing to well, make... Uh, make him into Israel. Well, so Itamar, I mean, I understand, I, I understand Turkey's uh, uh, intentions here or, or the benefits to Ankara, but what about to the Palestinian Authority? What changed from their perspective? Because from their point of view, they have blasted every other country, ally or enemy, that has normalized with Israel until now. So what's different? What's different is the reaction they got from the other countries. Uh, the other countries blasted them back, and basically the Palestinians need those countries much more than those countries need Israel. They don't. They. They. Uh, then, sorry, need the Palestinians. Uh, they. They never liked the Palestinians very much, and this gave all of them an excuse, for example, to stop giving funding to the Palestinian Authority. Uh, so the Palestinian Authority was burned by the last time they attacked countries that renewed relations with Israel or that uh, initiated relations with Israel. This time they decided they would be more cautious and worry about Palestinian interests and, and mm. swallow their pride uh, and pretend that this isn't something that really, really irritates them, which I'm sure it really, really irritates them. All right. So admittedly, the normalization do with Turkey does come with a couple of perks for the Palestinian Authority. For one, Erdogan is still openly supporting the Palestinian cause. And there's now a pending flight agreement to allow Palestinians to use the Ramon airport near Elat and fly to Turkey. Might the PA at least be closer to the fence uh, on this one, or is this really just them protecting their interests? The PA is protecting their interests. Uh, they, they'll get some benefits, but the Palestinian Authority for years has been known to, to push its ideology, its hate of Israel, its non-recognition of Israel. These are the things that makes a tick. Uh, these are the things that uh, uh, now, in addition to everything else that's pressuring uh, the Palestinian Authority, is their major financial crisis right now, their unemployment crisis, Abbas's lack of popularity. Mm. Um, I think when you have so little popularity at home, you're in no position to actually anger someone on the other side of the world or Turkey or is a neighbor, a Muslim neighbor um, who you need as a friend. So I think uh, Palestinian Authority will take any Muslim Arab country now, or Arab country as a friend, mm. um, instead of being just isolated like they are at home. All right, Itamar Marcus, thank you so much. You're very welcome.